This is Dalstrom, a small town situated just on the other side of Belfast. It is mostly known for fly fishing. And there's also a lot of little other shops like antique shops and so on. But our destination for today is the clock shop. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. So is this the beginning or the end? Well, that's what we are here to find out. Just a little bit of history about this clock shop while you are looking at these beautiful watches. The clock shop has got the largest selection of clocks in the southern hemisphere, with over 7,000 different designs to choose from. Location, location, location. I'm trying to find a place that is quiet where I can make this video because I've got people outside that's busy cutting the grass. So yeah, it's making a bit of noise. So anyway, my trip was a little bit of a bust, if I must say so. Beautiful clocks, spoke to the technician, 
got bullshit answers. So according to the technician, I cannot clean that watch by myself. I cannot fix it. I need to take it to him. It'll take him 18 weeks and two and a half thousand grand later just to check it out and service it. And uh, to buy a new mechanism for my clock is going to cost me 18,000 bucks. So I decided that's a challenge. That sounds to me like a real nice challenge. If you don't want to help me, you don't have to help me, but I'll do it myself. I'm going to uh, strip the clock, strip the mechanisms, clean every part of it, put it back together. At least that's one thing that me and the technician could agree upon is that I have to strip the clock because the, um, most of the oil and dirt has gone in between the gears and uh, just cleaning it on the outside will probably not clean it the way that it needs to be cleaned. And uh, I also need to inspect it for any uh, looseness of the gears anywhere on the brass, on the plates, on the pivot points, anything like that could cause the clock not to work. So I need to look at that. And I think since the clock hasn't been running for almost 20 years, if I break it now, who's going to care? That makes a difference. Um, thanks to uh, YouTube and Google, I will be fine. I've already discovered that I need to get ammonia to clean the pot. But apparently ammonia is the best bronze or brass cleaner in the world. And for the oil, I need to get a uh, 5W30 grade oil, synthetic oil. And you honestly need almost less than a drop of oil on the four pivot points about every five years. So I've got the chemicals, I've got the oil, I'm gonna go get the brush. And then if you wanna see what I do and if it's gonna be uh, the beginning or the end, stay tuned. See you on the next video, guys. And remember, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.